Shazam looking to get his pistol on. No invis pistol aim, but Sudakas will be able to take him down. Again, forward apologies for any mispronunciations. We'll try our best. <laughs> oh, you nailed that one. You nailed that one, Dan. Sentinels will that retake. Recon Dark goes forward. Sentinels getting closer now. Just diving through that dark cover. No fear at all from Sick. Trace coming through now. Sentinels starting to gain more ground. We'll be able to actually start pressuring this spike. The tap comes through from tens and just <laughs> sliding along <laughs> the zip line. Not a care in the world. It's up to Zoms to try to finish this one off, but I don't know they will have time for this one. Well done. Salaki is just going to be chilling up there in the attacker nest. And well, there it is. <laughs> Zoms is going to go down as well. And that'll be Vikings picking up the piss around. Lovely stuff. Towards this B site. And that toxic screen is set up nicely here for sentinels on the defense yeah. for retakes and also just to delay the effort onto the site very annoying and the rotation's scary, in tens has a marshal we've seen this yesterday so <laughs> you gotta <laughs> be careful with your vikings yeah looking for the moment to collapse here it doesn't look like that it's going to be an easy one in fact with that said you called it tens able to take down one, and that's the spike not being planted. I think it was denied just in the nick of time here, which creates a lot of issues because now they have to go. Vikings have to push back onto the site to get the spike. And they've managed to get the spike. And in fact, FLZ is going to take that straight to the A site. I'm, okay, might be able to catch it on the cross. Will Six see it? I don't think Six saw that in time. And another know that TTN was still stuck at yellow. So it's going to be a, an easy like 3v1 into oh there you go the round's over that's tanked with the marshal here dan <laughs> six managed to creep under the rafters and shazam's starting to peer out now as well looking to see what he can find we know he's quick for the flick but it's not like he's going to get any peaks here dapper though taking down sassy makes it a 4v4 sentinels will have to go pretty deep here though the Nano swarms up on the box to delay. No peaks being given. Shazam's quite deep now. Spots one. Has to dash away. And playing the post plant shenanigans. The lineups are there. Are they able to deny this though? The diffuse is coming through. Oh my. Come off of it. Beautiful work there from Deny this. Now the question is will they sacrifice one player on the defense sentinels to try to get some kills? Tens is the man to do it. He's going to be able to take down one. In fact, a second kill coming through as well. Traded out by FRZ. And Sudacast towards Bees is lurking on through. And wow. this is interesting. 40 seconds. Oh, trying to get out of there, out of the A site, on the rotation towards B. And Sadaki will be it will be lost. And Tense is going to be rezzed. So this this is getting very interesting now. This is a very difficult situation. 30 seconds left. Oh no. Shazam is going to find a perfect timing on this one. There's nothing that can be done about that. We'll get taken down by Sudicast, but a 1v3 now in store for him. Here's the stepping place through the smoke. Tries to punish. Now they know exactly where Sudicast is in, and he's going to be in so much trouble. Ooh, the Hunter's Fury coming through. Doing some damage. Sazam down. Was he trying to find what he can there with the Blaze Storm? Trying to punish the Hunter's Fury now. There goes the Cloud Burst by 410. Trying to just create a path and. It's going to work out. Tens goes down. Wow. And this is looking like a struggle here for Sentinels. Oh! Once again, finding himself two unlikely kills. Just finding that perfect timing to create all kinds of problems. But he's alone against three players. Is there any extra damage to be done here by Dapper? Absolutely not. Sassy will take him down. But it was a good attempt. And it will keep them through our Vikings. Tens is in such a good position. Especially with the fate there. Empress popped by Tens. And there's still five players here standing for Sentinels, and the spike still needs to go down, but there is just so little time to do it. FRZ trying to fight against Tens, and the delay is just so much at the same time for FRZ to try to contend with as he just walks into the angle that Tens is holding with Empress. Not going to be able to withstand. Aggressive plays, and he could dismiss the ways on his kill. On his kill, sorry. Oh, sick. Doing a great job from the backside, and he's going to just go into completion here. Shazam up on the high ground. Ooh, just barely able to dodge that one down to 10 HP. 2v3 here for Vikings. Make that a 2v2 Huge. as Zoms goes down and there might be some space and breathing room after all to get the spike planted. There we go. Shazam creeping around. Might find the timing here. 
Very dangerous. Dapper makes his way forward, goes down. It's up to Shazam here. 70 health. Can he make it work? Absolutely not. Denied by GTN. Great round again from... You should run. And there's the lockdown as well. Clear on any sneaky players in any close positions. Gives a lot of space to work with post plan as well. Shazam. Oh, over the top. He gets two. Shazam again. He did it yesterday. And here he is once more with the knives causing problems. Still more players to go. Shazam. He wants every last one. This is a problem. The defuse now is being pressured. Vikings are surely going to have to start to push forward because they don't know what's going on. The Hunter's Fury comes through from Sassy, but there it is, Shazam looking for the ace. Oh. Now comes the Sheriff, can't pull the trigger in time, but the defuse is coming through from sick and there is no time to stop it. Tens with the... We got a play some out here for FRZ. It's oh. Tadaki is able to take down Shazam. Rez coming through, chaos now as Sentinels try to hold onto the backside. That wall allows sick to have position here and he's going to be able to take down the spike for free. Tadaki is going to be out of the out of the round now and FLC still with the knives ready to go but this round is slowed down and no. it's looking good for sentinels how that showstopper miss i don't understand <laughs> i simply don't understand <laughs> and now it's under sassy looking pretty desperate here design will take him down and it, it it really felt like the momentum going into the site was so good because there's some important stuff there but once again, Vikings are going for this A site, and this time they're going to go into a more committed fashion. Trying to get that backside control, that Cloudburst does prevent that backside peak, but Sentinels still have these positions to peak from the high and low ground to work off of. And it might be quite beneficial, but no, Vikings able to find the kills this time, and it's going to leave Sentinels down to just two players. And it seems like we've had so many rounds like this, Vikings will get yeah. shut out, but then just Almost doing the same thing. The next round will have a significantly better result. And there it is, the infinite post plant. Yeah. And small detail too for Shazam to be able to escape without using a dash could still be huge right now for the retake. Ooh, all coming through actually around 410. This is getting quite hairy here. Sudacast will try to dodge that Hunter's Fury from Sassy as it goes forwards. And Shazam is still waiting for his moment, going forward with the knives and does take down one. Tens also able to do some damage. It's up to Sassy now. There's no more util after the shock dart. Will it be enough? The shock dart before it gets to planting a spike. And my oh. goodness, Dapper takes down Sudacast. He had a couple opportunities there. Didn't quite work out. Wall goes up for Dapper to get a plant. And there it goes. Not really an angle here, I don't think, for anybody to abuse. See, Sassy does try with a reveal, but as we follow Saliki, we'll see if he'll be able to do anything here, pushing forward. post plant positions are strong. Oh, that's an excellent shot there from Saliki. What else has he got in store for us here as he goes forward, getting really close to these players. Dapper takes him down, and it's just IFRZ with any workable amount of health here. That frenzy up close, and it's just not working out. Dapper is delivering frag after frag. And it's just a matter of time here for Sassy. One bullet will do it. And there is that bullet. And Sentinels pick up the pistol. And that's that's great. A C dying early means they have no recon for the retake inside this Viper's Pit. There's so much utility all over the place. It's <laughs> so confusing to see <laughs> exactly if you know if you were in that smoke, where players are gonna be coming from. But looks like there's a good sense of it here for Sentinels, especially for Zoms as he lurks around inside that Viper's Pit looking for any oncoming assailants. No My way. Goodness, GTN knows those angles. Takes down tens from a distance, and with that, maybe there's a chance here, but time is an issue. They've got to move, and it looks like the movement will be to retreat and to hold on to these weapons. Makes a lot of sense. Showing that presence, we are seeing a contact through, and tens will get the frag eventually. He will not be denied. Vikings in for some trouble. Uh, it could be a decent paint shells. You can see Dapper just barely escapes that one. It does delay the spike plant for the time being. Right, some extra time for the rotation. Oh, the shock dart missing there. I think again, in fact. Yeah. That's so unfortunate. And they have nothing left here, Fancilli. They've been completely annihilated for yet another Prime Gaming Flawless. Same time too, Dan. So if he did have a Classic or a Frenzy, maybe doable. But also when you have to face off against tens inside that smoke, with the way that he's playing and the way that he warms up, <laughs> it's going to be very difficult to try to win that upper hand. And aside from that, yeah, a little bit awkward in the end, but you're happy that 
you still have a sidearm versus Sassi who had nothing. Pull back this B sign as you're fighting for this orb and Shazam getting the opener. And he's going to say, look, I didn't clutch before, but I'm definitely going to help my team win this map. They also picked up the Harness Fury, and this is going to be tough now for Vikings. Yeah, great kill there from Static Key. He's got the lockdown too, so could cause a lot of problems here. Harness Fury comes through as well from Sassy. Oh, gets two on the tag, and Double. they're going to finish off both players as well. That's a great lineup. And now it's down to two here for Sentinels. Sick and Shazam. Oh, God, this is looking very difficult. Salaki's just holding that defuse for days right now. I don't think there's any yeah. way they can stop this. Indeed, they swing, it's desperate, and Vikings pick up another round. So they're not done up because they've been defaulting so much. You know, an aggressive push coming in from Sadak again, but it gets immediately traded out. They still have a res. Positions. Oh, just caught before the satchel can be utilized there. FRZ gonna whip that one. Best no way. cast is good for it. The aggression from multiple sides from Vikings catches Sentinels off balance. But it is not done just yet. A minute to go, and we were in this 2v2. We've got the play being made by Dapper onto the B site. And Sick is able to get a lot this of so information good. in this position. Yeah. He's going to hear the footsteps. He could bait it out. He's going to let uh, Dapper know at the same time. And if Dapper fails, well, you have a Hunter's Fury available. There's Six in a great spot. The timing is perfect for Sick as well. That surely seals the deal here as FRC's in such a bad spot. No help to work with. Very troublesome indeed. <laughs> Goes for it, I respect it. He's fairly quick inside the garage and they're adapting already. Look at that, FRC's already up B. And Six able to take down one with such a deep position. Sick is causing a lot of problems here towards spawn. He's just holding his position at this point. He's done so much good work. Nice one from Sudacast to try to make things a little bit easier, but it's still very, very difficult. Sudacast with the frenzy, not the best at that range, but making it work for now. However, Sick and Tans will finish things. Massive into the B site. We're trying to get an early plan for Vikings. Uh, Sick there with the curveballs, just like so much good defensive utility coming through and Tans there with the push from the back as well. Sick is closing distance with these attackers and he's doing so much damage. They're pinned in the corner. There's nowhere to go. Just Sudacast left now. Coming from spawn. 1v3. Spike down in no man's land. Ooh, almost spammed down completely. And they know exactly where Sudacast is. And there we go. Shazam will take him down and down a player already. Sonicky sits ahead. on the bench watching over his team as they try to take some garage control and a reload was heard. Six reload, there's the curveball though. That's gonna confirm some information. Shazam's walked out mid as well. I don't know that they would expect that. Ooh, Six gonna get challenged. Trying to escape actually. <laughs> I think he is uh, not exactly sure where he was going, but Shazam is gonna be able to get a huge timing on this flank. Dapper, the master of delay in the site. Shazam is gonna isolate the garage players. And now Dapper spotted the remaining two in C long, and it doesn't seem like they can just really combine their forces whatsoever. Everybody's picked apart in this round Double for swing. Vikings. They just can't quite seem to find their footing, Vansili. Be against Shazam and or Tens. Yeah. And at the, and then at the same time, like we had such good retakes on the C site. If if the C splits actually were like a C. Yeah. Play once the gar garage pressure comes through. And that's a pick on an A long, so maybe scratch that entirely because they will go off of the back of that one. Tenso is holding the site still. So this is a problem. And a neural theft comes through to gain more information. Oh, that's and the spike. spikes down, and they have the site sentinels. They are still sitting on this one. And it doesn't look like they're able to stop Tens. He's going to own absolutely everybody that tries to walk into this site. Oof, unfortunate. A bit of information at the same time, too, because they are one player behind. And this forces the hand of Dapper trying to push forward, and they're trying to push down towards long, too, and it works out. Six gets the headshot, and it's tied up four to four. And there comes the drone here from Viking Sentinels. We'll be able to slow things down. Sick is doing a great job at slowing things down. He kept hold of a, of a curveball as well to have that additional delay possible. Vikings looking to force the action. It's sitting oh. in the cage now, Sick. Waiting for his next chance. There goes the flash. Four delay. Still holding on to position. Holding on to time. Sentinels have that rotation in. It's going to be a hell of a fight here. 
for Vikings. They're going to pop it through the showstopper. GTN is going to get traded out, though. And Sonaki and Sudacast doing a great job in converting all these frags. The spike will be planted. Dapper in a one versus three as he makes his way through spawn. It is a hell of a job to find an opening here. It would have something has to be given. Gets tagged, and that's the, this. This is a this is a huge issue. You know, tens having free reign here, doing a great job hitting those shots. And you want to see them find a way to, to do that as well. Although we'll talk about it later because we're looking for a split from Vikings inside the C site. Then, yeah, it's certainly. And Sassy is able to open up with the Hunter's Fury, so starts off pretty well here. Six still has that running back ready for the retake. And there we go. Running back comes through. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. Sonic East is going to walk straight into him. They can take it down by the pace. Dogs. Okay. <laughs> Tens has the blades out. FRC with what the lineup. On? Coming through from window. Doing the damage. And now Shazam. He's got nobody left to support him. He's alone in this retake. Planted. Four players to find. They know precisely where he is. The swing comes through. Sudika. They've been gifted. The spike is on the site there for Sentinels just to sit on top of. It's under their control. Locked away by the Astra Smoke. Locked away by the entire team at this point. Oh man, this is not a good look here for Vikings. They are well and truly on the struggle bus. Oh no, no, don't do it, Jim! Oh. No! no. <laughs> Tip for Vikings. Trying to hold on to the backside. Ooh. Tenso up high, able to look over all of these smokes with that ghost doing damage. Three players, two players now left here. It's looking grim for Vikings as they fight tooth and nail, but it's not looking all that good. GTN is the last of it here for Vikings. Frenzy outs Tens from the side. Time to take control here. Meeting GTN, sick. Winning that battle. And they're going to fall back. And this this is so awful. Imagine being on the receiving end of this. You're, <laughs> you're afraid of the A hit, but at the same time, they could be anywhere. They reset. As far as he has to come up huge right now, especially now that he's pinged in. This is going to be very difficult. I think he's going to have to play this passively and wait for his teammates to come back. Ooh, good timing, though, found with the Stinger from Soliki. That's going to even things up into a 4v4. Shazam, though, with that ADS on the Bulldog is always good for it. FRZ still causing some issues there on the B sites. And here comes that flank. If there's distraction here for Sudacast to work off of, might be able to get two free ones. Knows where the second player is. Woo! Priest up there from Sudacast. Gets oh. the dink onto Dapper. 20 health left. Finished off. Vikings. Great discipline on that one. Great patience. A high ground on the Radio Night boxes. And it's looking a lot better here. Vikings still have the backside control. Zombs is going to try to push the issue. Goes down. And there's no presence here now for Sentinels. Backside. They may have to give this one up, but I don't think they can afford to. The spike is no. down in a forward position. Sentinels are committed to the C site. They just want to try to finish this right now, Dan, which is why they went so aggressively. But Sick does get the first kill. It's traded off. And on his three on three, cornered is Sick. Save, staying alive from the Molly. And let's see if they can actually clutch it out. Oh god, this is so awkward here for Vikings, but they make it work! Another round for the Brazilian. Still in this one. And slowly but surely, the ultimate points are also building up here, Dan. Yes, the money comes back for uh, Sentinels into this round off this half by, but you're definitely happy right now for the defender side that you only lost two players and has been devastating in the past with that ultimate on this map. Oh, what a start here coming from Vikings. The aggression from them right now. They're going is absolutely wild with this. Sick looking to answer back into Garage. Sadiki with the Odin trying to spam it forwards. Sick with the entry though. He's got to run it back available now as well. On the side causing problems. There goes the Kerpal straight through to try to punish these players towards spawn as Sick keeps himself going on that warpath. Sentinels get the spike down. This was looking really good for Vikings at one point. Goal, Shazam gets a freebie. He's going to be able to reposition as well. Just oh, causing no. so many issues. Oh, no. Very unfortunate oh. for Vikings, but that's going to be a wrap in this series.